Now back to our winter storm, a live look from the mobile weather lab cruising down Cass Avenue in Darien. We have seen the most buildup of the snow thus far out to our west. And Mary Kay, I know you've been watching it throughout the evening as it hits some of those communities and moves toward the city. Right, and the winter storm warning does include the city, Marie, and it looks like that could be one of the hardest hit areas when this is all said and done because of some added lake enhancement, and that could extend all the way up to Kenosha County. For the areas in purple, it's a winter weather advisory. Our concerns south of I-80 and into northwest Indiana revolves around icy conditions, so that's going to cut down snow totals closer to an inch or two, but when you have the roads glazing over, some ice accumulation is certainly possible for the morning rush. So our winter storm warning does extend to the west. It's all because of the storm track. The center of the storm now closing in on St. Louis. We have to wrap the backside of the system through. So all that snow in Iowa still has to wrap into northern Illinois. So the heaviest snow is going to happen overnight. We're adding that lake enhancement during the day tomorrow. So those winds will build high waves as well right off the lake. And that could create those lakeside snow showers for us as we move through the night. So right along the Wisconsin line, we have snow showers for now. A little break closer to the city, but down to the south and southwest and through Iowa. That's where we see more concentrated areas of steady snow, and all of that will be moving through the picture tonight. So through midnight, we will see snow increasing, and then through about 2 and 3 in the morning, those snowfall rates could top out at 1 inch per hour. So the greatest accumulation will be happening overnight, and then during the day tomorrow, we'll have those lake-enhanced snow showers continuing to give us some additional accumulation, mainly from the city to the north shore, all the way up to the Kenosha County shoreline as well. So our snowfall tracker, look at how minor it is in Northwest Indiana because of that mix that's going to be expected. But then as you start heading closer to the North Shore and to the city, you add the lake enhancement in. So four to six inches possible. Some isolated eight inch totals are possible by Wednesday morning for those north side areas, especially as we reach closer to the Wisconsin line just because of those winds coming off the lake. Now that's why we also have a Lakeshore flood advisory in effect through tomorrow. Those winds will build high waves and those winds are straight off the water. Water temperature is in the upper 30s, so it's relatively mild compared to the cold air that's overhead. So it's just enough to kick in that lake enhanced snow machine for us tomorrow. So I think tomorrow morning, yes, we will be off to a snowy start. You may have snow covered roadways and snow covered driveways. Be careful shoveling it because what we're getting now is that heavy wet stuff, Brad and Marie, but keeping snow showers around during the day tomorrow and even into Wednesday as well. Okay, thanks, MK.